I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Good day, Rochelle Lafar. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Thank you. I want to thank you for joining me. I want my audience to know that I get to talk to one of the guest stars of Mary Kills People. Love the show. So I'm going to love your role. Thank Rochelle, you so much. I think I hope you will. <laughs> I, I love the show. I really do. It, it, it's it's. I like things that give you real life questions. Would I do that? Why do people do that? How could they do that? And that's what you know. Mary Kills People brings to the table. Now, tell me about your role. Um, first of all, I love that you said that because that's exactly what we want to do with this show. And I feel like you're the perfect audience member for us. People who are going to talk about it after it's over and, and go, would I do that? Um, and my character, Olivia, uh, you might not ask yourself that a lot about Olivia. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the would you do that? I, I hope if you're a decent person, the answer is going to be no. <laughs> um, but, uh, but she's definitely fun to play. I come into Mary's life and, um, and I have a connection to her past that she thought that she was rid of. And I come in and, and stir things up just when she thinks she's starting to get a hold on things. Well, you are that kind of guest. <laughs> and you are in that kind of situation where that's why we're asked to resolve the past. I can't say for everyone. You know, we need to deal with the past because the past shows up like you do. A hundred percent. And if you try to bury something and if you try to sweep it under the rug and if you try not to resolve it and you just avoid it, you cannot outrun it. And I think that my character is a really good example of that. I totally agree. Well, Mary has a, just a complex life uh, because of the job that she does. Mm -hmm. She's a normal person with a child. and She's got this complex life and you intersect in this. Tell me, tell me why your character is doing this to Mary. Well, you know, one of the things that I love about Mary is the fact that she's, you know, a doctor, you know, during her, her daytime hours, an emergency room doctor who is tasked with saving lives. And then in her off hours, you know, is, is committed to this, um, to these assisted suicides and helping people um, die with dignity. And Unfortunately, in order to do that, she has to get the drugs from somewhere. She has to, you know, have secret locations. She's always running from the cops. And so her life is really complicated trying to, um, trying to balance those two lives. And my character really comes in um, because she sees that she can get something from Mary and that Mary needs something from her. So it's actually, you know, the whole relationship is actually based on the fact that these two, as much as, as, much as Mary doesn't want anything to do with Olivia, they really do need each other. And as the season goes on, you see that that kind of push pull really intensify between these two very strong willed women. Well, this is like real life. People have these relationships that are codependent. They don't want them, but they're codependent on other people, mm -hmm. say for drugs or money or mm -hmm. lifestyle or whatever. And you guys mm -hmm. uh, uh, vilify that in the sense that uh, most of you people shouldn't be doing this. Let me ask you, have you, since you've been a part of uh, Mary Kills People, have you thought about any of the life-changing questions that the show brings up? Definitely. I mean, in terms of assisted suicide, it's definitely forced me to make sure that my position is what I think it is, and it's challenged me to, you know, case by case to make sure that my position um, is is consistent, because um, I think that consistency is key um, when you're talking about issues that are as, as hotbed as this one. Um, and the other thing that I really love is, like you were talking about the codependency, you know, I think that we have a tendency sometimes to blame other people for our behavior. And I think Mary likes to blame Olivia. You know, well, I didn't do this voluntarily. She made me do it. And I think the other interesting question about our show is even when you don't have a choice, when that's what it looks like, 
you always have a choice, that you are in control of you. And Mary is in control of her life and her actions. And to see her try to blame Olivia for a road she actually walks down fairly willingly um, is something that I, I also hope that audiences will be talking about and, and debating and, and having strong opinions about. Well, you know, Variety said this was one of the top shows of 2017, and I so yeah. agree with them. A show that has value, a show that has a purpose. You know, people aren't just on the screen so that we can look at their lives. I love that show. Let me ask you, when are you guys coming back? Are you back for your second season? Yes, our second season premieres March 12th. It's a Monday. We're on Mondays at 9 on Lifetime, so just around the corner. Just around the corner. I can't believe it's marched already, but I can't believe my one of my favorite shows is back. I can't wait that. It's going to be a great season on Mary Kills People. I want you guys to tune in. I think it has value. I think it has worth. So, hey, check me out. See if my opinion holds up. Go watch Mary Kills People. <laughs> Let me thank you so very much, Rochelle, for coming on the Val BB Show. I really appreciate you talking about Mary Kills People. Thank you so much. Your enthusiasm is a joy. Thank you. <laughs>